In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, some of the tools Element has for actually measuring sites. You can actually do a, a site measurement off a of Google map through LMN. For this purpose, I'm going to use a service estimate as an example. You could do it for either, but obviously it's more likely to be done for a service estimate when you're estimating snow or maintenance. Once you've got a job site address in the client information on any estimate, you're going to see these two buttons, measure site or map site. Now map site's pretty simple. It's just going to bring up a Google map. However, it's a nice way of very quickly bringing up a map that you can print for your guys if somebody needs a map to get to the site. The more useful tool is this button here called measure site. So if I click this, what it's going to bring up is a, is a site measurement tool of the property I want to measure. Now, if I'm measuring this property for say snow and ice, and I want to measure this parking lot, all I do is click my mouse around the parking lot areas. And you can see in the bottom right, my measurement fields are starting to fill out. Now, as it starts to get full, I start dragging and dropping points. Notice every time I drag and drop a point, it adds another one. So you can actually get quite precise because every time you move something, it gives you the opportunity to get that much more precise. It sort of splits the line in half and gives you another measuring option. So close enough, let's say, uh, let's say I'm happy with my measurement here. I can look down here and say, the area of this parking lot is 26,900 square feet or 0.62 acres. Now I've got some good data to measure that part of the property. If I want to continue measuring, especially with areas that aren't uh, connected, I'd make sure I write this down, the size. Then I'm going to go clear area up here. And I'm going to start on my next area. And that area is 0.29 acres. And I'll clear that. And then I'll go to my next area and so on and so on until I'm finished measuring all the areas I need to measure on the property. And then that should give me some measurements that I can take back to here to use in my estimate to make sure we get the right amount of time to do the work we just measured. 